A crash involving two cars and an ambulance last Friday has raised questions about safety on emergency vehicles. The crash happened in Warren County. Five people were injured, including paramedics and the patient. Two News reporter Dana Smith is getting answers on how local agencies are keeping crews and patients safe. Brooke, officials over at the Huber Heights Fire Department tell me accidents involving ambulances happen more often than you might think. In Warren County on Friday, police say a pickup truck hit an ambulance head on. The ambulance flipped onto its side. Dale Bodorf was riding in the front seat of the ambulance. His wife was the patient in the back. Just unbelievable. I mean, the circumstances are just unbelievable. Who, who gets in an ambulance and thinks you're going to have a, a wreck? You know, that's supposed to be your life support, not your demise. Over at the Huber Heights Fire Department, firefighter and paramedic Corey Gebhardt says safety on the road is always a concern. There's definitely a trust between us and as partners. Uh, you expect them to get you there safe, um, but people pull out in front of us all the time. They've had to lock the brakes up. So when you're in a bad position in the back, it's easy to uh, lose control and get hurt or fall or anything like that. The department has recently upgraded its ambulance fleet to include safety harnesses for paramedics to replace the old seat belts. And one of the problems that paramedics have in the back of a medic is, is that they're there to take care of a patient and our old straps would not allow you to wear a seat belt and take care of the patient. With the new system you can actually strap in and you can still perform patient care functions. Battalion Chief Keith Nisley said there have been instances where Huber Heights ambulances have been hit, bumped, and in one case, even T-boned by another driver. And it's not just paramedics who are put at risk when that happens. In the new ambulances, the patient caught is also secured. If the medic were to uh, roll over on its side or on its top, the cot and the patient properly secured in the cot would be would no longer be a projectile in the medic just like the paramedic being in the back of the medic wearing his shoulder restraint system the paramedic would no longer become a projectile I reached out to the Lebanon Fire Department about that crash in Warren County to ask uh, what safety features if any were on that ambulance but they have not yet returned a quest for comment reporting live Dana Smith 5 on 2